Hey guys, so today I have a little dilemma <clears throat> uh, regarding, um, well I'm selling a Super Nintendo, an old Super Nintendo that I have, um, I actually have two of them. I bought a second one because I was under the impression that my first one was breaking because I was having trouble turning on, but as a matter of fact I just found out just now actually that uh, apparently the problem was with the AV cables because I just uh, turned on this old 17 year old Super Nintendo um, as dirty and dusty it is, as it is using the AV cables from my new Super Nintendo and it works just fine so apparently I bought another Super Nintendo for nothing but anyway um, so I'm selling this this old Super Nintendo along with uh, 22 games. Now these games um, are all games that uh, I either have uh, other versions of on other systems or games that I'm just not interested in anymore. These are no uh, crappy games, uh, mind you. These uh, I'm including, uh, among other titles, uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Gradius 3, Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4, um, Donkey Kong Country 1 through 3, um, possibly Chrono Trigger, um, if I end up getting Chrono Trigger DS uh, later this month, um, possibly Final Fantasy 6, if I end up getting Final Fantasy 6 Advance. Um, so, long story short, I normally sell my gaming stuff on eBay. Um, I don't really have any gamer friends, at least uh, gamer friends in um, the area in which I live in. That would be an ideal situation where I could, you know, sell my gaming stuff, you know, to people that I know, because then I would save a whole lot on shipping costs. You know, I just say, hey, you know, so and so, you know, you want to meet up? You know, I got this stuff for sale. You know, sure, you know, let's meet up. You know, I hand, the, you know, my friend the stuff. I don't have to pay any shipping costs, and that's great. Um, but uh, usually I've gone the eBay route because, you know, I don't have any gamer friends to sell my stuff to and, you know, in uh, where I live anyway, so um, recently um, this girl um, who I don't know uh, who is actually on um, one of my Facebook friends uh, friends list, so she added me um, like a couple of months ago, I don't know her and she, when I advertised on my Facebook that I was selling this Super Nintendo and 22 games with it, um, she expressed interest in it. So, a little while ago, she, um, she IM'd me on Facebook, and, uh, you know, to talk about the games, you know, the bundle that I'm selling, and the only games she expressed interest in, it, uh, interest in um, initially were Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. And she offered me $60 for these two games. $60. Now, to give you an idea of how much money that is, anyone who owns a Wii and uses the Virtual Console knows that all Super Nintendo games are currently going for 8 bucks apiece. This girl is offering me $60 for games that in actuality are worth sixteen dollars total. In fact, actually they're probably worth even less. Nintendo is actually probably overcharging people for these games, so this girl is offering me seven times what Nintendo is offering uh, for these games. More than seven times. So, you know, when she said she was gonna offer me sixty dollars for these two you know, seventeen year old games, you know, I'm like flabbergasted, you know. Is this girl nuts? Obviously, she doesn't know much about games. So, I'm faced with a dilemma, you know. The right thing versus the smart thing. You know, I could, you know, totally rip this girl off and let her pay me $60 for these two ancient games that aren't even worth $16. Or, I could not. She's also expressed interest in buying my Super Nintendo itself. I suppose I could say, well, you know what? You offered to get me $60 for these two Super Nintendo games. How about I offer to give you my Super Nintendo and all 22 games I'm offering with it for $300? Now, originally, I was expecting to get 
somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 to 250 dollars for my entire bundle, a Super Nintendo and 22 games. Most of which, mind you, are great games. These aren't just crappy throwaway games. Um, so, you know, I was thinking of offering you 300 dollars for my entire bundle, which would probably, which would be probably a, at least 100 dollars more than I would get if I were to sell it on eBay. But I, you know, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know if I should ask for less. I don't know if I could ask for more if I could get away with that. You know, I I admit that, you know, I am a greedy bastard. You know, I am not in a great financial situation right now. You know, I I like money, like most Americans. And so, you know, I'm debating whether I should take, you know, advantage of this this naive girl, you know, who offered to pay me so much money for so little. You know, I, I just I just don't know what to do. I, I don't know what um, a person should of my situation, my financial situation, should do. So, yeah, I'm kind of in a jam. You know, I'm the, this girl. She's offline right now, but you know, so I, I'm pretty much gonna spend the rest of the day thinking about what I should do in this situation. I'm in the middle of this whole um, reorganizing, cleaning phase in my room, I, you know, I'm selling all these games, you know, I, I just bought a new entertainment center in back of me, um, so I really would love to get rid of all this stuff and make as much money off of it as possible, so, taking that into account, you know, I'm wondering how can I get as much money for this stuff as I can without, you know, without feeling guilt or as little guilt as possible. This will be my first public vlog, so I guess if anybody would like to leave any comments as to what they think I should do in this situation, um, feel free. Alright, so that's it for today.